Hey guys, it's Jules. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> sorry, uh, just trying to get everything organized here for our little stitch along today, or stitch with me today, sorry. Um, it's December, I don't know, 10-ish, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, should be the 10th. And um, what we're doing today is we're working on apothecary shop and we're literally starting on the next page of apothecary shop, which is very, very exciting. Um, I finished uh, the first page yesterday and uh, went in and uh, did a little blog post about it, took a picture, blah, blah, blah. But um, I was super excited because man, it's taken me forever to get this first page done. And we are going to be ready to rock and roll here. Just wanted to grab color chart oh man so what I'm gonna do is on this piece is uh, a lot of times I'll take the top row and just go all the way across the top row but on this particular piece I'm gonna actually go down the vertical side on the left side of the um, of the pattern I think it'll um, help it to look more like something earlier um, but uh, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes I might get bored after a while I need to do a different page hopefully not but we'll see having a little problem with lighting today and I think it's mostly just because um, I doing this a little bit later than I normally do my videos it's late morning I just took my mom uh, to, to church here um, sorry guys I gotta find this up here um, there's a little church that she loves to go to when she's here and so I dropped her off this morning I got about an hour and a half till I have to go pick her up and and then my husband's downstairs slaving away in the kitchen to get uh, some stuff done here. I'm going to move this. Oh, no, we don't want to get the light right in the picture. But but the lighting is not the best today. I um, apologize for that. But hopefully it still looks pretty good on your end. That's what I'm hoping for. But anyway... So progress, little progress has been made on this piece, which is, makes me very happy. And uh, I'm gonna do a little two-handed stitching today because it might be a little bit easier, oops, for you guys to, well, it'll be a little bit easier for me because I don't have myself set up the way I normally do to do this piece. So I'm just gonna um, do it this way be a little bit slower for me but it'll be a bit more accurate and the piece won't move around so much so that'll be good a lot's been going on since mom's been here um, ironically she fly she flew in on uh, Thursday morning and that night there was a big massive snowstorm that hit where she lives in Georgia and they got at least five inches it might be closer to eight which is just ridiculous. And um, it was kind of funny because we turned on the Weather Channel uh, on Friday and was, we were watching it and uh, the, one of the reporters in the Weather Channel looked like she was literally stuck in the little town that my mom lives in. Couldn't get any further north. And uh, so we got a nice little local weather forecast, you know, about 1,500 miles away here. But, and, uh, and then I actually had a friend of mine who, um, my old college roommate, who now lives in England, um, outside north of London, and they actually got like three inches of snow overnight, and it's going to continue to snow for the next, I don't know, 10, 12 hours or so, and that's only the, apparently only the third time since my friend has been there for the last 10 years that she's seen snow there. And, oh, wrong hole. You guys all saw that. You're like, no, don't do that. Um, but anyway, save me from a mistake. Uh, where am I? Where am I and what am I doing? But, uh, so it's weird. And then here in Colorado, where I live outside of Denver, uh, maybe an inch or two this year so far. It's uh, officially the least snowy year, calendar year on record as of right now. Unless we get a major blizzard before the end of the year, it'll go down as the least snowy on record, which is pretty sad considering how much I like my snow. It's a little crazy. 
But at least my mom didn't have to be home and deal with all that mess. And the neighbors are awesome, and they sent pictures, and they're checking, you know, making sure everything looks good. So, so that's a good thing. I'm going to go up here. Let's see, what have we been doing? So she came in on Thursday. <sighs> Let's see. We went out to eat somewhere. Can't remember now where. <laughs> it's been a blur. Um, Friday, we stayed busy. Um, again, kind of forget what we did. Saturday, yesterday, we had a good time. We, um, we went downtown Denver to see this thing called the Chris, Chris Kindle Market. And right here is the next one. And uh, we had a good time there. It's just, you know, it's like German, Scandinavian, uh, Swiss kind of products and food, a lot of food. And, um, but we didn't eat anything. We didn't have any snacks because after that, we took my mom to Cheesecake Factory. And she's never been to the Cheesecake Factory. So we had a good time. And we brought our cheesecakes home and our food because our, our, our portion sizes were ridiculously large. And, um, and then after Cheesecake Factory, we went to the Denver Botanical Gardens for their... Christmas lights, which was awesome. If it wasn't just a bit crazy, they um, we had a pre or a, a buy our tickets in advance. Uh, if we tried to show up, they were all sold out. wasn't gonna work. Um, all right, we're gonna shift to the next color. Yay! And um, we got there at about it, the first. They had closed. Um, partway through the afternoon, you're going to see me use my toenail clippers because I did not go down and get my regular scissors, so I just needed to get started on this. And I, um, so I'm, I'm, uh, going old school here a little bit, but, um, but we showed up at about, uh, maybe about 10 till 5, and the way they worked it this year is they had, uh, all the tickets were sold, like, in different time frames. They didn't want everybody just to show up at the same time. So um, you bought tickets for like five o'clock or six o'clock or seven o'clock, that kind of thing. And they, they were like, please don't show up early. And um, so we got there about 10 till five. And um, the good thing was, is uh, it wasn't a terribly cold night. It was a little chilly, but it wasn't too bad. But the, um, the problem was, is that the line to get in, despite the fact that everybody, you know, had gotten pre-bought tickets and whatnot, it, the line, it took us 20 minutes from the end of the line to get in when we actually, you know, the line stretched for a very long way. At least a couple hundred people minimum were in front of us. And we, um, you know, so we kind of, you know, we just had to be patient, but the lights were worth it. They were gorgeous. I took some with my new camera, I took some pictures and stuff, and um, uh, maybe I'll have some up at some point. Sorry, I got to tie off this off here, and I got to see, seize to what I'm doing. But I did come home last night with, I don't know if it's like allergy issues because it's been so dry here, or or if it was a little too much. Um, if it was a little too much in the sense of just being outside when it was cold, I'm not really sure, but it, uh, my throat was a bit sore this morning when I woke up. I'm trying not to talk too much, but it didn't really hurt that much. Oh, and then the other thing we did yesterday before that was we went and, um, finally got... Uh, a little piece of coral for the saltwater tank and a little fish and put those in because everything seemed to be fine temperature salinity all that seemed fine so I finally took the plunge and did that and so far everything looks okay this is my first time at acclimating saltwater fish and coral to a new tank so um, the downside is that the new fish 
when it got put in, immediately found some sort of a crevice inside one of the rocks, like down at the bottom of the sand was, and haven't seen him for 24 hours. So on one hand, I don't think he's dead yet, but on the other hand, I'm worried that he's going to die. Um, primarily just because he still hasn't come out yet. So we'll see. We'll see. He looked a bit stressed before I put him in and um, it wasn't my finest acclimation. I didn't have as much time. I didn't plan this out properly. Normally with a fish, I might take a couple of hours to acclimate them before I put them in. And it was about an hour for him, which should be fine. But partway through the um, acclimation process, when I had him sit in his bag, the bag he came from, um, from the store, um, there was a big, his bag, the bag must have kind of shifted a little bit. And instead of sitting upright, um, it kind of had shifted a little bit to the side and a bunch of my aquarium water had gotten into his bag. And that's a, that's a big shift in water environment for him. Um, probably temperature and just everything he's used to. And so he's, uh, I think he was a more stressed than I would have wanted him to be, which I don't know. We'll see what happens, but, um, I did do a little video I'm going to put up on the channel in the next couple of days or so, but, um, I think I did a video. Did I already put it up? I might've already put it up. I can't even remember. I'll be perfectly honest. Um, it's been kind of a blur so far. Um, I also did a video of my crazy purple snail, my purple mystery snail that did some crazy surfing down plants, did some crazy plant surfing um, yesterday. And I, I happened to be looking at them when it started. And so I was able to get a good video of it. But these snails are just, I mean, all by themselves, they're quite entertaining. Um, let's see. So what's the plan for today? Today is, see, mom's going to church. We're going to have a nice lunch. My mom is going to teach my husband how to make the old fashioned noodles that's been passed down for a couple of generations in my family. I am not a, I can cook. I made some, I made a wicked, uh, chicken enchilada casserole earlier in the week for everybody. Um, but most of the time I'm not, he really enjoys it. So He's going to learn the technique and so that we'll be able to have some noodles down the road here as well. I'm sure he will um, kind of stir it up a little bit in the sense of he'll add his own little touch to it and uh, we'll see. We'll see how it comes out, but he's definitely uh, looking forward to that. And then um, I think we'll finish putting up the Christmas tree. We brought the Christmas tree up into where my mom's room is just because it's the safest room with all the animals in the house. And uh, so we get that going. And uh, put that up today. And I don't know what else. I don't know what else we'll do. It's going to be a little bit quieter every day because we were out so much yesterday. At least I hope it's a quieter day. I think tomorrow we're gonna go to the local library and maybe check out some local stores and stuff. We'll see. did buy some more patterns and I need to print them out. They're more Star Wars related patterns, of course. And um, I said I thought I might do a Star Wars related cross-stitching video this week about the different Star Wars patterns that I have. Because I have a lot. I've done a few. Oh yeah, my mom has, we've gotten, she's basically, she, you know, she can't ever sit still. Um, unless it's like just about time for her to go to sleep. She, otherwise she cannot sit still. She's always got to be doing something. And so I put her to work 
um, ironing out, cleaning up the projects that I finished. And I think tomorrow we'll also go in and have those framed. Uh, I've got a song stuck in my head. It's Joe Jackson stepping out. 19, I don't know, 85 or something. I don't even know how I got it in my head. It just it's it got in there last night and it's still in there today. It's kind of weird. off too. I'm hungry though, I gotta tell you. Got so much food in this house right now and with the meal that we're making today we're gonna have so much more. We're gonna, the fridge is gonna be full but the good news is we won't have to go out to eat for the rest of the week I don't think. Although I do plan on uh, using Uber again because my mom is interested. She's just, you know, I think she's uh She's cool in that she's she is open to trying some new stuff and whatnot, especially when I'm around. And uh, so we're gonna, I think we'll Uber and one one night later this week and meet up with my husband somewhere, or maybe we'll just Uber and he can pick us up. She just wants to try it out. Sorry, I'm just getting this piece tied off, and the light just went south literally, and. Here we go. Turn my turn. Oh, allergies. I'm gonna need to take some Zyrtec or something today, I think. Pretty sure that's what it is. I hope that's what it is. I better not be getting sick. That would be really stinky. The neighbor situation is getting a little better. Um, not sure where I left it last when I was telling you guys about it. Last weekend was rough because their dogs just outside barking all the time and our dogs would run out and bark at them and it was just a big bark fest and it was just, it was rough because we don't like our dogs barking outside because we have a lot. We don't like to upset anybody, especially on a Sunday morning, you know? And, um, But it's, my husband's been kind of training, retraining the dogs and getting them all going. And so it's been a little bit better, which is good. done with this color I'm only doing like this little mini box and then this box and you can see I went ahead and pre-gridded everything um, I was a little disappointed uh, you know <laughs> this fabric is pre-gridded but can you, you know I don't know if you can see you can you can see this on the camera the gray, the pre-gridded gray lines, so much better than I can see it in real life. Now, maybe that's because I need to wear my glasses. It's possible. But I, when I gridded today, I actually had to actually count on a couple of spots to make sure I was in the right, you know, that I was doing these right. But I mean, I, it's just, you've, you know, despite the fact that it's already gridded, I just went ahead and took care of it. But, and I'm amazed at all the different ways that people grid. There's just, well, I shouldn't really be that amazed because there's a thousand ways to cross stitch too. So everybody's different and the variety is awesome. Oh, my 
husband turned a movie on so he can listen to something while he's cooking, which is good. Neither one of us like too much silence. All right, we're changing colors. Boom. Boom shakalaka laka. Let's see, I just want to mark off what I have done. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. I know we're, we don't have too many more left till Christmas. I have succeeded in denying that fact so far. But with the help of Amazon and a few other online retailers, it'll probably be just fine. It should be just fine. I don't get too wrapped up in making sure that everything is good. Whoops, I just highlighted my pattern. <laughs> no big deal. It's going to be covered up with the stitching, so it won't matter. Okay, next color. Mm, all right, six, four to eight. Boo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Gotta tell you, when I had to go find this next page in a pop carry shop, it took me a little bit to find it because that is not a um, um, that is not a pattern that I have had to look for the next page in, in such a long time that I just kind of ended up. Uh, oops, where did I put my needle? Where did I put my needle? There it is. Um, but. And then trying to figure out which page was the next one down. Because if I'm going to lose a page, I'm usually going to use lose that page that shows the gridding, the number of pages. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You know, I'm going to lose that particular grid, but you can always tell. Um, just got to do the math and look at everything, and it'll be all right. It'll be okay. Everything's okay. Pulled it through. Did I pull it through? Just about. There we go. Get that locked in. Get it locked and loaded. All right, let's readjust our light. Ooh, let's not get the light in the picture, if at all possible. I've got a light. Literally, I have a, I have a light on a light, like right here. Got a light on a light. That's pretty crazy. And trying to get my little self in here. Come on now. Come on, light. Stop wrestling with me. There we go. Bit. There we go, a bit. Yeah, it's just the light's just not very good in this room. I mean, it's bright outside. I think that the sun, well, the sun's shifting further south, right? Theoretically. I think I heard that somewhere right now, so. Light's going to progressively get worse for the next 10 days, and then it'll start getting better again. So, do, 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 stepping out. I just definitely need to make sure that I do a better job on this page of filling everything in as I go, not leaving blank spaces for later, because no matter how diligent I am with my highlighter, I always miss something at some point. That's just how it goes. Oops. <sighs> Alrighty. 
getting close to wanting to stop part one, pick up part two, and I just to remind everybody I do this because of the way my camera works. Because it always wants to be silly. And it always wants to like cut things off early. So I'm just gonna stop it here real quick. Maybe grab another um you know, maybe grab another floss. We'll see. Alright, I'm gonna pause. And we're back for part two. Alright. After this stitch with me, I won't be doing any more of a apothecary shop this week. I need to progress into some other things. You know, the funny thing about uh, the song, the Joe Jackson song, is, man, I used to hate that song when I was a kid. There's more than a few of those that I'm like, oh, I don't like that song. And now that I'm older, it's like, oh, okay, I see why that was... That's a good song. Obviously, it just... More of an adult song, for whatever reason. It didn't get the rhythm of the song or the lyrics or the whatever. to adjust. <laughs> oh, eventually I'm going to figure out my setup here. I just, I just f jump from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. You should have seen me going crazy last night with my camera at uh, Botanical Gardens. It was the first real chance I had to take um, cool pictures with my, with my cameras, my birthday present for my husband, an early one. And, uh, because we wanted to have it when my mom came out. And so I got some cool pictures last night for sure. For sure. You know, I think I can just go all the way. I think I'm just going to do this. Go all the way to the bottom. It'll be a little faster, maybe. A little faster, maybe. Oh boy, oh, that's, I guess it's football day. It's football day. Am I gonna watch football a little bit? My my mom is so funny because you think that you know not all, I mean, not all moms watch sports, but she totally watch football, especially when it's like the Falcons and Atlanta, and we watched their game the other night together until she fell asleep. But. I do a lot of fantasy sport type things, hand, uh, hockey and football. I'm in the semifinals of my, whoop, not that one, this one, of my long-term league that's filled with friends and family. And I almost always make the playoffs and I almost always get knocked out. I've never won in all the years we've played. And um, I'm probably gonna get knocked out this week. We'll see. I, uh, I had a, uh, New Orleans Saints running back that ended up getting hurt like in the first quarter and missed the rest of the game. So I was, I was like, oh man, of course. But oh well, it is what it is. I don't get, I no longer get wrapped up in that. I used to get like crazy. Well, I used to get crazy about sports too. But a little bit older I've gotten, the more I'm like, you know, I like to watch, but I'm not gonna. I don't base my my whether or not my day is a good one or not by the fact that my team wins or loses. I mean, it's a better day, but my Georgia Bulldogs are in the college football playoffs, and you'd think I'd be super excited, and I am excited, and I am going to watch. However, that being said, I don't have to watch. I will watch. I didn't watch their SEC championship game. I should have. But we were out and about doing some stuff, and I saw the first like first quarter or the first quarter, and then I was like, "All right, let's go do something else." I just—it's hard to just sit and watch a game. 
I have no patience. Well, that's not that I have no patience. I cannot just do one thing. I mean, I just can't. And that's a, I don't know. I'm not sure what that is, but I, uh, if I'm stitching, I gotta be listening. I gotta be doing a video. I gotta be listening, well, when I say listening, like listening to an audio book, preferably actually listening to or watching a YouTube video or like on a day like today, watching some football. You know, it just depends. I'm gonna get a lot more done on this during this stitch along, guys. Thanks to y'all. There we go. And there's one more over here. There it is. I need to be washing some more, reading up on more about the saltwater tank stuff. You'd think that I would have already done it, but no. I dragged my feet for months on that. I just, um, I was just nervous. Now I'm okay with it. You know, I've, you know, I've unfortunately I've lost fish in other tanks and I've learned from my mistakes in that regard. And then sometimes fish just die and we don't know why, but at least from a standpoint of just jumping in, I'm glad I finally kind of jumped in and my husband kept pushing me the last week or two like you do it just do it just do it just do it and finally I did it and it was a good thing it was it was fun to go over to the store and see everything and it was just a little nerve-wracking when I came home because I'm I was doing a bunch of things at the same time with the tank and everybody's trying to talk to me at the same time and I'm like oh I can't do everything But, no, ha <laughs> ha, thread the wrong thing. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, my back. I'm sitting, I'm sitting straight up, which, you know, I don't always sit straight up, but I'm doing it now. Wait a minute. Yep. Okay, good. Whew. I thought I had the wrong color for a second there. Hold on, I gotta tie it off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let's readjust our lights. This is kind of ridiculous. And I'm only saying ridiculous because if you guys actually saw how I was sort of contorted in order to get this done, it's kind of it's kind of funny. Oh, my nephew broke his arm. My 11, 11 year old nephew, my um, brother's only son. And uh, dude was out playing in the snow in Georgia, slipped and fell, broke his arm. I'm like, dude, that's cool. I was like, I broke my thumb when I was in high school. Every little boy breaks something at some point, right? So I'm like, good thing he's got a week of school before he gets off for vacation so he can take advantage of being cool, the cool kid with the broken arm next week. And, uh, but the bummer part is, is that he won't be able to play video games as well for a little bit, which is one of his favorite things to do. And it's his dominant hand, so he may have to practice his offhand writing for a bit, which, to be perfectly honest, when I was his age, I actually did that. I, school is so much different now than it was when I was a kid, and I I got bored kind of easily, but when I got bored, I would do silly things like oh, getting bored in the sense of I always finish things faster than other people did, and and I'd be sitting there, you know, with nothing to do, and um, so I actually would practice writing left-handed, and um, I haven't done it in quite a while, but I could if I had to, but it was interesting. A poor kid. 
Well, not really poor kid. I think he's doing quite fine. If he's smart, he'll milk it as much as he can. And he's a smart kid, so. And it should be good. But kind of crazy. That stuff happens, I suppose, when it snows. I mean, the ground's so hard there. It's clay, Georgia clay. Or maybe it was a sidewalk. I'm not 100% sure what he fell on, but poor kid. Speaking of which, I'm using my left hand on top. I don't know when you guys, if you guys do two-handed stitching, do you use your dominant hand? I mean, my dominant hand is my right hand, so that's what's underneath, and so I have to be good at turning it around and putting it through this proper hole. But I don't know. It's just it's the thing that's the most comfortable direction for me, so most similar to the way I stitch naturally. The one hand technique. Coming out nicely, very nicely. Okay, let me see here a sec. I've already kind of lost where I'm at. <laughs> here we go. That bar. I think I'm gonna go ahead and tie this off because I have quite a few more stitches to do before I finish with this color. My brain is less scattered my mom that my mom's here but it's still a bit scattered so it's still kind of hard to sit down and stitch for any length of time although I've been working I, like I said I've been focused on this apothecary shop page and then I'm gonna switch over to the football page and try and get that face to come out just get that done just to see if that's gonna work or not for that pattern It'd be a bummer if it didn't, because I've really wanted to do that pattern for years. And finally really got going on it. Spent a lot of hours on it. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. There are other projects to move on to. That's for dang sure. But I have to find it. If, if that doesn't work, I'll have to find another vintage football piece. Oh, let's see here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's just go down here. Stitch, put this in there, huh? Tighten this up a little bit. loose there and I think it still is but the fabric is still not very um, not very pliable it'll get there but it's still a bit of an issue for me but I think I'll live I think no guarantee so the Sunday lunch thing that my husband's making so we picked up uh, honey baked ham which my mama loves and um not a very big one thankfully just a smaller one because gosh knows we got plenty of leftovers but um and he, we're gonna make he's gonna actually make some kind of crazy um not crazy but some kind of cool uh, mashed potato recipe and he actually got whole potatoes to do that so he's, he's going all out. And then I'm going to make my cracked corn recipe, which is like the corn casserole. You make it with like the cream corn and the regular corn and the Jiffy Mix. And oh man, it's so good. I might just eat just literally just that, but we'll see. And um, some green beans. I think that's about it because we don't want to have too much because we already have so many leftovers. At least that's the goal.
Na. Hmm. All right, since we're here, let's go up here. So there's a um, thing on um, this poll contest on the local NBC News, it's 9news.com, I believe. And my husband and I have been very, well, my husband's very interested, and we've had a few discussions as far as this is concerned. But it was basically like trying to, it's like a tournament of, like, favorite holiday uh, movies so they like they have a like an anim like a children's animated and then an older animated and like a classic section more modern you know just all these different things and so last week was round one and you voted and then the um, winners they moved on to the next round so um, it's uh, it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy. My husband looks forward to it now, like every whatever day it is, Friday or Monday or whatever it was that it came out. He gets into it. It's interesting to see what people choose, you know. It's, uh, you know, especially for those of us who are a little older who might pick the more classics. I mean, my favorite movie is It's a Wonderful Life. Always has been. But, um... I'm going to definitely watch that a bit more this year. I, I'm not sure if I fully watched it last year, which would have been the first time that I had not fully watched it in any particular season in my entire life. So. Catch up on that a little bit. <laughs> we, were, we were discussing, you know, Christmas movies at, at um, when we were having lunch yesterday. And, um... My mom was talking about how when I was younger, how I could watch like the same movie over and over and over again. Like I would do that with It's a Wonderful Life. Like I had a videotape of it and I just couldn't ever stop watching it. And, and I honestly, I did, I would do that until like the last two or three, four, four years maybe or so. And it was kind of like, I think it's been sort of when I started dating my husband, um, I just stopped doing it. I'm like, I have a hard time now watching the same thing over and over again, or even rewatching a movie that I've seen before. And I don't know why that is. I think it's a general sort of scatterbrainness that I've had for a while because I have so many different things going on that I can't like relax my brain enough to just sit there and watch the same movie over and over. There's just too much going on for me to do that. But I don't know. Or I'm always trying to, like, I have limited time, so I want to do new things. You know, I don't know. It's weird. All right, I think I got, did I get that part? Nope, 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 nope. I made a mistake. Didn't make a mistake here. Let's look. Yes, I did. So we're going to fill this in. We're going to go up and fill this part in. And then, then we'll find a new color. too high on that stitch. There we go. That looks better. Alright. Making progress. Making progress. Whoa! Hope you guys didn't get sick there. I accidentally hit my tripod. And it's not the most stable of things in the world, so... Whew! That was crazy. I almost dropped all of you guys. That would have been bad. Highlighting. Highlighting. Highlighting is the highlight of my cross stitch. Because it means I'm getting stuff done. Oh, one more. There we go. All right. Okay, okay. Probably what will be the last color for this stitch with me. Number 640. What do they call 640 here? Dark beige gray. Oh man, I can have flashback to when I was first doing cross stitch and learning how to get all the different colors and 
the craziness of trying to figure out what was what and the um one of the first pieces I ever did was for my mom and um the kit came with the floss but it didn't identify them it just kind of laid them all out and this was many many years ago and um uh, hold on a second oh I'm not going to have as much to do on this as I thought I was. Wait, I'll be gosh, duly darned. Um, that's okay. That's okay. I'm just going to go down here and do this right now. But, um, and I remember trying to, ah, trying to figure out the colors for that piece. And there was a lot of, like, beiges, and there was a lot of different pinks and reds and tans, and it... it I got it all squared away and it finally worked itself out, but that was a right um that was that was pretty hard to do. So I didn't necessarily do myself any favors by trying that and I don't even remember what it, what it was exactly or where it was. I just remember that I had all that pro I had all those problems with it. It might have been like one of those dimensions types kits from way, way back before they started labeling them. Do they label them? I haven't bought one in a while. I'm sure they label them nowadays and tell you what's what. What's what? But, um, okay, I'm just going to jump on down here since we only got a little bit more time here. And I think we'll just do these and then call it a, call it a st stitch with me morning. So, thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you had a good time. I hope you got a lot done on what you're working on. And I will be seeing y'all soon with another video. Check out my blog for progress. And uh, oh, I'll tie that off in a minute. I had a stretch. Oh, man. And uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Don't stress about the holidays. And I'll see you soon. Take care.